Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Tech New Horizons. Have you missed me? Yes, you have. I'm missing my bed, and I don't know where it is. It's pretty dark, and I hope I can find it. It's either lying around somewhere in my base, or I stuffed it in one of my chests, since I usually have it on me, but I usually also have a pretty full inventory, and then I just dump it into the nearest chest I can find. So, where is my bed? Found it! No idea why it is in there. Out of all places, let's also take the torches and the boat, I guess. And let's go ahead and sleep. And after that, we can see where this episode will be going. I have a plan now. And for that plan, we need to get a lot of clay, as I usually do. And I really have to look out for a good place to find that clay, since the near vicinity is pretty barren when it comes to clay. Didn't think I'd be saying that, but I'm very glad I took out my boat out of the metals chest. Why can't I place the boat? There we go, I'm in the boat. Because there is no clay whatsoever nearby, so now that I have this huge river, the boat might actually be helpful. Well, forget what I said, I just found clay. Please stop. Boat, stop! Where's my boat? That happened before, and I have no idea where the boat vanishes to, but it's not here anymore. Where's my clay? Okay, at least I'm somewhat closer to my clay now. Oh my goodness, I didn't think that it would be possible, but I found my boat again. Why is it here though? That's where I mined the clay. Here's my boat. Is it my boat even? Um, it might not actually be here, but I'm very confused now. Let's just leave the boat and find some more clay, I guess. I am so happy right now since I only need three clay and a lot of sand in order to make these unfired coke bricks, which I need to make more coke ovens. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I already have the clay, now I just need a lot more sand. I also had a lot more clay than I expected. Do I still have some more in my inventory? Nope, that's about it. Okay, well, there's even some more up there. I have a lot of clay, maybe I shouldn't even have gathered that. So, yeah, sand supply isn't looking too hot though found this mangrove biome, which is really, really amazing for farming sand. It's not a desert, but good enough, I think. We get a lot of sand from here anyways. So, I already got one entire inventory, and this is the second one I'm getting. Already had to repair my shovel once, and it takes like three or four steel just to repair it fully. And it's halfway down again, so not that great, but we should be able to get some coke ovens going in a little bit. Farmed a bunch of sand. There's a little bit more up here. Filled all of these up, you can see how much I have. That should be a lot of stuff, but I wanted to talk about something, and it's that this mod pack really isn't that well polished. In Project Ozone, it's a very well polished mod pack. If I click my mouse wheel, I can actually pick up a block in my inventory. So let's say if I get some cobblestone of this type, and I middle click this block, it will instantly go into my hand, and I don't have to go in my inventory, which is really nice. If I then build with something and I run out of it, I can just shift or middle click it right there and I get some more of it. That's a really nice feature. Another nice feature is completing auto crafting. I can just click here, shift click into that, and then it auto crafts. The big problem right here is with the tools, I can't really do that, so that takes a little bit more time. And then, even if I have a chest right here and I want to get some items, in Project Ozone I can just scroll. Right here, there's the problem that if I want to scroll pretty precisely, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can see I'm scrolling a little bit slower, and it's theoretically putting it in my inventory, but it doesn't really put it in. I have to scroll really fast in order to get it in my inventory. So, those are just a few quirks that are a little bit annoying, especially if I just come back from playing Project Ozone. And then I'm entering this place, and it's very frustrating. Explain to me why this happens. I have one of the unfired coke oven bricks left in here, even though I put in two creosote buckets, which should get a stack, and it also got a stack, most of the time. Why, why no open furnace? Please, there you go. One stack, one stack, and there as well. This one, however, has one left over. Why? I really don't get it, and it's really annoying because I have to waste another full bucket just to smelt one item. And it happened two times, by the way. But enough with the complaining, and starting with the explaining. See what I did there? Yes, you do. Let's get some of these bricks. How many do I even have? 
That is quite a lot. We can make a lot of coke ovens, but why do we need them? I want to finally set up a good source of energy. And by energy, I mean the EU energy for which we're going to use the basic steam turbines. But this is really messy and not well set up. I can only put in a stack in these, then the charcoal is not automatically put into the coal boilers down here, and the fluid isn't really extracted since my tank filled up. I want to set this up properly and generate some really good amount of steam in order to generate a lot of EU. We're going to use coke ovens to make charcoal to fire up the boilers, which is pretty obvious, but the reason why we're still using coke ovens instead of something else is because everything other than the coke ovens is really expensive, either to build it or to maintain it. The best way I found was the pyrolyzed oven, which would be really amazing. We could smelt a lot of wood into a lot of charcoal relatively quickly with some steam requirements. And fortunately, that isn't a real recipe. The second recipe I found was this coke oven, but we also can't really do that. So we have to rely on the Railcraft coke ovens. We're going to place down 12, I think I planned out of these, and they're going to go right in these spots, three high, so three stacked on top of each other. One here, one here, here, and there. And four times three is 12, so we will have 12 of them, and then set up the rest of our machines down here and also generate the energy down here. Put in the first three of our coke ovens right there, and I expanded some of the ceiling, as you can see, maybe. Maybe it becomes apparent, maybe it doesn't, but I expanded it on this side a little bit and also decided to make this too wide because I really like how the cobblestone connects when it's too wide. As you can probably tell since I did this and also did it too wide down here. Mostly because of this lined up with too wide and then I did it over here as well. So just so you can get a look of it, this will be how it's going to roughly look. We're going to have the cobblestone in these spaces and then expand the cobblestone up here as well, like we did over there. Last block into all of the coke ovens. 12 of them should now be built, I hope, because I don't have enough... Oh, it's not very smart. Supplies to build another one. I cut it pretty close, actually, without calculating it. This doesn't meet up exactly. It doesn't meet up at all, to be exact, but I'm just going to ignore that for now and say that this is looking pretty decent. And if we're coming in, if we're coming in, let's go a little ways away and then come in. Oh, that's looking really cool that you can see through the windows and that they line up. That was one concern of mine, but it lines up perfectly. And then not so perfect anymore since it doesn't have a real center. But this is really good. As you may know, some blocks, all the blocks actually, are really expensive in correct tech. So I have a ladder right here. And on the other side, the exact same ladder. I don't, I, I just don't really know why I did that, but it's coming in useful right now because I have to finish off the ceiling. I somehow destroyed some glass. There's also something I didn't know about the glass. Uh, let's maybe see. If I break it, okay, that didn't happen. Yeah, there's the chance that I will start bleeding and I can actually die from that. I died from it before. I hope it won't happen now. Yes, I'm alive. But that is one of the concerns why I shouldn't probably be breaking glass. I don't know if there's a way around this. I'm actually wearing gloves, theoretically, so it shouldn't happen, but... Well, it doesn't work that way, I guess. Since I want to automate everything with the setup we're going to build, we will obviously need some item transport, and a great way of transporting items is the tin item transfer pipes. Are they even called that? What are they called? Tin item... Tin item pipe, okay, no transport. But in order for that, we need a lot of tin, and I'm pretty much out of tin, so I'm currently mining it, and maybe even getting some di diatomite. No idea what I need that for, but I'll definitely get some. Cassiorite sand is probably my favorite ore to harvest, since you get so much for your ores. I put in one Cassiorite sand, also put up the sound again, and I now know why I put it down in the first place, but we're not going to stay at this for too long. I just wanted to show that you actually get four per Cassarite sand you macerate. As you could see there very briefly, let's look in the chest because there you can see it very easily. And then I don't even have to process them any further. I can just stuff them in the furnace and they will give me the ingot. Well, that was pretty loud and noisy. I turned down the volume a little bit. Oh, we got some stuff despawning. I just want you to take a look back here, which looks... Really, really ugly. We have a floating tree. This is half finished. This is half finished. And most of the stuff isn't even 
finished at all, not, not even half finished, it's less than that. But we're going to hook up the item pipes now. I'm using the small item pipes since I don't think we need the bigger ones. Can I just put them there and they connect? Somewhat. They, they somewhat to connect. I might need a wire cutter in a second because I made a frame drawer right here that is not facing the right way and I want to extract that from the side and from the top since we need two spots where we can extract it from to get it to the coke ovens down here and up there as well. Why did they think it was a good idea to make the wires not connect at all? Do you know how terrible this is? Can I even do this? Hello? Do you interact with my wire cutter? I might actually need a wrench here. It, it says in the tooltip that I need a wrench, but it says that with everything, so I got a wire cutter. Maybe I need a wrench, but that is really annoying, having to connect every single wire like that. Good news, the wrench actually works, and this is the tool I'm supposed to use, I believe at least. Now we can install the conveyor module, and what I thought is that since it's the LV conveyor module, I thought I would have to supply it with energy, and that's why I didn't automate the other stuff like pumping out the liquid, since I thought I would have to hook it up to some energy supply. But I actually don't, and if I click that, maybe it will instantly work. Or in a little bit at least. Yeah, there, there it goes, that's one stack out. And I have no idea where it is in now, um, but it should light up. Is it this one? Yes. So it doesn't have to be really fast. It can be relatively slow. I hooked it up in the way that we're supplying all of the bottom furnaces and the two first top furnaces. The other furnaces, like these two, will be supplied by the pipe that is running on the top. Decided to move the lower coke ovens back a little bit so they would be in line with the other coke ovens. The reason why I didn't do that in the first place was because I wanted to change it up a little bit. But I think with the glass it still looks pretty decent. It doesn't look like a straight line of coke ovens anymore. And it's also working which is really nice to see. Uh, wow, that's already empty. Great to know, I actually picked it up a little bit of the wood that was in the coke ovens already. Just have to check if everything is still connected, that still is, everything is good, that is nice to see because we need one line for the liquid to be extracted and then another line for the items to be extracted. I think I figured out a trick with the small tin item pipes. If I just cut that and place it right here, you see it doesn't connect, but if I break that again and place it on the pipe itself, it connects. Really amazing, I am aware, I am aware. Currently hooking up the item pipes to the top ones and the last two right here of the coke ovens. It's not looking too great since I'm basically hitting out that space and we might have to replace that with micro blocks since I don't want to use full blocks like I did right here. I also don't want to use too many micro blocks since then my base will start lagging but maybe just an exception right there. Looking pretty decent I would say it's not quite yet hooked up all of the way. I think the item pipes should be working, but I still need a conveyor module right here that then connects it all up, but from the front it's at least looking decent now, and I think I even like it more than the fold stripe since that's supposed to be different from down here, and I think that I have achieved that. Wanna watch another one of my magic tricks? I press a button, the quest book opens. I press another button, and it closes. No quest book in my inventory. Yes, I finally bound the key. And what we're going to do is get some other coins. Do you not work that way? Can I not do that? Was that a... S uh, oh my goodness, an assembler? I don't even have that. Or, wait, I do. Isn't that... I, I actually do have that. Let's stuff it in here. Yes, because I want to get some of the conveyor modules that we need for our coke ovens. Last two modules that I have to put in. The quest might be completing a few more times since I've completed it a lot of times. It always has one minute cooldown, so it appears to be done now. Which is really good because here we go. That's our coal supply currently, and we're obviously draining on the wood supply. Uh, I don't know how fast this is. Maybe I'll monitor it for a little bit. For now, it will extract the coal out of all the furnaces that it previously wasn't able to, but all of them are running, which is a really good sign, and I'll see how much coal I'm gaining when all of the coal is extracted that was produced earlier before hooking all of the cables up. There it goes again. Couldn't really monitor the coal output, I estimated it with a little bit of mathematics, and it should be enough to sustain what I have planned. 
and that would be using a steam baller from Railcraft. And it's going to reside right here, I would say. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make it a 2x2 two two or a 3x3, three three, since the 3x3 three three ones consume a lot of charcoal, and I'm not too sure if I can actually sustain that. But we're going to have the baller somewhere here. Let's just plan it out as a 2x2, two two, but we could theoretically expand it to a 3x3. Three three. And then we're going to have the steam turbines that will generate the energy. Do I have any blocks? Let's use cobblestone all the way along here and then hook these up with some cables to machines that are below them. That will go right here, the cables will go down, or maybe the machines will go where I currently place the cobblestone, and then the cables will hook up behind the steam turbines and then go down to the machines. And I even have one more spot right here. So that would be how that's looking. Obviously the boiler would be a little bit higher, and I'll probably have to figure out the ceiling then because we'll have a lot of open space right in this area. If we're going to go with the 3x3 boiler, we're going to need 9 of these solid fuel fire boxes. And they are not too expensive, but this part requires a lot of bronze. And by a lot of bronze, I mean a lot of bronze. And since we need 9 of them, we don't have that much copper left or any copper to process in our drawers. Which means I have to farm some copper. I already farmed some tin for the bronze, we only have one stack and 17 and I'm pretty sure that won't be enough. Went down to a nearby copper mine and this really is anything but ideal. We have a huge ravine in here with a lot of lava and a lot of potential for me to fall down. So there really isn't a lot of easy to grab copper in here I don't think so. I might cut this session short pretty quickly. No, I wasted one copper ingot. What am I getting in the steam furnace? Nuggets. Great. Can I compress these back together in my compressors, maybe? I just farmed a little bit. It's currently processing in the macerator, and that was a complete waste. Great. Yeah, we have some pyrite? No. Ch Chala pyrite? No idea how to pronounce that. I'll have to look it up. Have some casterite in here, still processing, and a lot in the furnaces as well. I want to put it in the alloy smelter though, copper and the tin, to get some more bronze to make the fire boxes. Well that was a lot of crafting, wasn't it? Let's try to jump that. Oh my goodness, I actually did it. I was prepared to fall down there. Let's get rid of the dirt and the cobblestone as she placed it in here. I don't have the ball of blocks themselves yet, but let's see how that's looking. I think we can do that, and when it's expanded a little bit further, it won't be very high, it will just be two blocks if we have it three by three, since then we'll just have way too many boilers and we wouldn't be able to sustain it if it's any larger than this, and that might even be pushing the boundaries a little bit. We'll also have to build up some coal supplies, which I'm currently doing over on this side, let's see how, oh, 700, that's quite a bit actually, and 1.4k in here. I have to see about the creosote, we still have to extract that somehow, and I still have to build a tank for that. But it needs to be a pretty large tank since we're using 12 over here, and right here we're only using 3, but the tank is already entirely filled up and the coke ovens are starting to fill up as well. Hmm, maybe we could actually put the tank right here. I plan to have this like a exit way where we can expand our base into, but this space can't really be used since it's outside the 3x3 junk grid that I wanted to utilize, which would be right here, this 3x3 area. So we could expand right around this space a little bit more, but not in this space since that's outside the 3x3 chunk area. So we might put the tank in this space and have a 3x3 tank vertically a little bit expanded. It could already uh, always expand to 5x5 in this direction. We'll have to push back some stuff on this side though. But I think that could work. Maybe let's start with a 3x3 tank that is a little bit higher. However, we might need a little bit more iron for that. I have 8 iron plates and a little bit over a stack of iron ingots, so that's not even one entire stack of iron plates probably. I'm also running out of copper, which I'm currently processing, recently stocked up on tin at least. I'm building up the steel supply though massively, like 500 steel, that is pretty insane for what I've been doing for it which is basically nothing, but I'm processing a lot of my stuff, like the iron ore, I'm processing the cassiterite still, the chalapyrite, and some more copper, and the iron, obviously. And that takes a very long time. I'm also smelting that simultaneously while I'm macerating it, 
in my furnaces and getting free of soot from here, but the tank isn't really draining and the coke ovens are still filled up, but we're slowly getting more resources to do stuff with. Wow, we are already out of time for this one. First full-size episode that I'm doing in a while, actually, so I'm pretty satisfied that I got that done rather quickly. Not too quickly, though. Still processing a lot of the stuff, and that's probably going to happen between the episodes a little bit, a little bit in the next episode, and then we'll be able to finish our power setup as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Next episode should be to the right of your screen, maybe last episode as well. We'll see about that. Playlist is below that, and subscribe if you haven't already, so I can see you next time. Until then.